Today we return to Millville to make the eight mile hike to Fairbanks. Check hike number 75 to see the petroglyphs and all the sites from Millville. Okay, here I am, there's Kelly, there's Richard. Where are we at? We are, where are we? Millville. <laughs> Millville. Millville and Charleston. The, the town of Charleston is just across the river, what's left of it. And we're going on an eight mile hike to the town of Fairbanks. That's correct. All along the San Pedro River. Which was all, why were they here? Oh, the silver mines. Silver mines. So this is all old abandoned silver mines. And this and is an old abandoned railroad track. railroad track. And anything over 50 years old is considered an artifact. So don't pick up any trash, they say. There also may be unexploded bombs, so don't pick those up either. Richard's mapped out the way to find the lost city of Charleston, so hopefully we'll find it. That's a... Yeah. Uh, yeah. Is that a velvet ant? Yeah. No! And they'll get even bigger than that. Here's an adult velvet ant. They thought those might be babies. They're probably just ticks. We're not getting across that either. Okay. <laughs> Dang, I hope that video's not going. Probably. Probably. There it is. Hey, I didn't slip. <laughs> and Richard made it down. Whoa. Ooh. I better turn it off while I walked in. The ground was a little muddy. But we had to search for a way to get across the San Pedro River so we could look and hopefully find the town of Charleston. It appeared the only way was to jump. Oh, come on! After all that, you have to do it. You got us all psyched up for it. Oh, we're still going good. The thing is, I got so much weight on my bottom of my feet. You don't have to explain to me. I wouldn't try this. <laughs> yep, falls to peer pressure even at the age of 70. Wonderful thing. Watch out, Kelly! What? 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 Watch out! It's go. It's breaking. It's not breaking, but ooh, I almost. It was actually much easier to go across the log than try to jump it like Richard did. He found a high point to look and see if he could find the city of Charleston. Unfortunately, this bird and a few petroglyphs were the most interesting thing we found. Hey, but we didn't find Charles. Hey, we just bushwhacked across trees. the river, through all that, through all these mesquite trees. And Richard, where are we? Lost. <laughs> and Kelly? <laughs> I'm just hoping I don't have food in my teeth at this point in time. <laughs> we did find this little hieroglyphic that we're not sure if it was man-made or not. There's Richard. And this is what they make out to be a trail. There's Kelly. <laughs> oh! And you can see. Oh, yeah, let me zoom in on Jerry's leg down there. Bloody legs, uh, arms. This is just what I call ridiculous yes ridiculous Richard, what are you trying to do here <laughs> they're trying to slow me down wrapping me up in wire be it known he did that all by himself <laughs> <laughs> though he probably deserved it for getting us lost but we made it back to the railroad track and then from the railroad track 
across the barbed wire fence. What got caught? Kelly had a little problem there. <laughs> Back to the trail. <laughs> well, it's gonna rip. There. No problems. No problem. We found some cool rocks and even some of the remnants from the old days. Okay, what do we have here? Take it away, Richard. Uh, we've got uh, uh, brown pottery. It's really cool. It is cool. That's uh, Richard quoting Kelly. <laughs> Piece of trash that's now historical because it's been here long enough. Okay, I'm taking a video. Where are we approaching? Boston, Boston Mills. Mills. Ruins. <laughs> Ruins. They're twins. <laughs> and that's on the hill up there. We'll go there shortly. But first, we've got some little ruin right here. That we do. I don't know if this is showing up. But there's walls and stuff all around through here. And there's a big ruin way in the background. Interesting. Well, we've hiked about four miles to get here. This apparently is called the Old Boston Mill. I don't know if there were buildings here or how it worked or what they did, but as we pan around, that's where the San Pedro River was, or is. I don't know what this little area fenced off, if there was some foundation or building there that's historically significant. I think it's a cage to put you in. So, there you have it. could be, and Richard's way back there. He's jogging. He's crazy. He's jogging? He stopped. He's jogging. Okay, I'm taking a video. Approaching Kelly and Richard. And what do we have in the background here? The Boston Mill Ruins. We're by Millville. Take it away, Richard. Yes, that's exactly where <laughs> we are. Millville's about four miles away. And we've got about four miles to get to Charleston? No. No. Fairbanks. 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 Yeah. We'll be in Alaska soon. It sure doesn't look like it from here, does it? Obviously, after four miles, I'm getting a little tired and can't think straight as I can't even remember the destination of where we're going. But we've got another four miles to get to Fairbanks, where Lark was kind enough to drive to pick us up. I'm not sure of the exact dates, but this mill was active in the early 1900s, so over a hundred years old. Just interesting to see, but hard to picture how it was used and how it functioned. But Richard and Kelly explored and checked it all out. And those trees you see in the background, that's where the San Pedro River flowed. Of course, an earthquake in the early 1900s changed the flow and sent most of it underground, and that's probably what closed most of these mills down. At this point, we're only about halfway through our hike, and as you can see, it's dry. It's fairly warm, even though it's a fairly nice day for this time of year. You'll narrate when you put the video together. Yep. Of course, maybe I will, and maybe I won't. That's the advantage of putting the videos together. I can do whatever I want. Here's my narration. There's Richard up ahead. There's Kelly back behind. Lagging. Saw a deer right through here earlier.
I threw this video in just to add a little color. Are we in a video? You're in a video. I'm gonna look like I have more energy. <laughs> How many miles have we hiked so far? Too many. Six. Six miles down. Two more miles to go. Hopefully we make it. It's an interesting hike and we found this huge cottonwood tree. Then we made it to another ghost town. Interesting structures. What's the name of this place? Los Boquillas. What was that name? I think it's Los Boquillas, which means uh, Little Mouth, the Little Mouth Ranch. <laughs> Boquilla? Boca is a uh, mouth. Boquilla, I don't. Little Boquillas Ranch. An old ranch from who knows how many years. Oh, look at all the lizards on the wall. I see that. That's pretty cool. This cattle ranch was founded in 1901, 120 years ago. But as you look at some of the structures, which is interesting that you can actually go inside some of them. And you see the old adobe and stucco on the outside. And on this barn, you see the tin roll-up doors added. And you also see an electrical outlet. So even though it was founded in 1901, this area was developed later on. In fact, it looked like the Parks Department tried to make it into perhaps a historical site. And in one of the buildings, we found a bunch of park signs. But you also see all the evidence of how it was used back in the old days. There's one of the park signs. Old materials stored in the building. Just interesting to see. And this is only approximately two miles from Fairbanks, though it was six miles from Millville where we started. And there's an old gas pump. And some of the other structures you see are of newer construction and have obviously been added later on. But this is still a historical site. There's a picnic table there. There's an old engine for a pump station. And you just don't see power lines with these type of fixtures, this type of construction. The old railroad tracks are never too far away from the trail. And we're almost to the main highway, which means we're almost to Fairbanks and we didn't want to go any farther than we had to. We got to the road, Tombstone, nine miles, but Fairbanks, 800 feet. Kelly decided he'd climb the fence. We made it. Richard, where are we at? We're at Fairbanks and not Alaska. Fairbanks, Arizona. There we are, the post office at Fairbanks, Arizona. We were kind of beat. I laid on the table, looked up at the sky. Kelly just closed his eyes. So did Richard. But after a while, Richard woke up. Kelly kept sleeping. And I decided, I'm here. I might as well hike around and check out Fairbanks. There was a school. There's a sign that points you in different directions for different things. And just some of the old buildings. 
and there's a San Pedro trail that we decide to hike the next day. The lark would soon be here, and we'd be heaven, heading home. Still have a water trough that works. And feels good. After our eight mile hike. Maybe eight miles. Yeah, eight plus. Our eight mile hike that actually turned into about 10 was over. So hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day. We'll be back tomorrow, so take care.